I'm a brand new creature cause the owe me the night. I'm new. Yeah, I'm new. What up you guys and welcome back to another reactional video. I actually touched on this topic before yoga okay and it got a lot of people but her so much so i had to actually block one of my old friends child because he was just going back and forth with me being very combative in my comments as if i'm just oblivious i don't know no better and i got a hindu friend and an indian friend or something like that and i'm like don't we all you know, especially when you grow up in a very cultural uh, school system, you know. But anyway, it's not for nothing, child. I knew what I was talking about because I thoroughly do my research. The word of God says to study to show thyself approved by God, okay? I don't just be talking out the side of my neck with stuff on a lot of occasions. I might not know something, and if I don't know it, then I go and I study. Well, this is a um, ex-Hindu, okay? And he is telling... Christians, why they should not be practicing yoga. If you don't want to hear from somebody who's in the faith, here is somebody that was, that, that's, that's, that's their culture, okay? So I want you guys to check this out. Makes sense. Okay, what's wrong with doing yoga? When it comes to yoga, India is seen as the capital of yoga uh, for the entire world. Uh, if, if we know about, if we talk about the Beatles, you know, you know the the band they traveled to India. Uh, Blavatsky was the who who is was known for the as the founder of the New Age movement. Uh, Velina Blavatsky, she traveled to India. She she spent time in India. So in, India is known as the yoga capital of the world. So people whoever practices yoga, I, I always keep telling this that you have to go to the roots. Uh, what does the uh, how did it all start? Uh, uh, how did yoga practice start? What's the source? Like I always say, the source. Where are you? Who told you you were naked? Who told you yoga was what it was? Let's see about the source of of yoga. The history behind it, and uh, okay, but I'm doing stretching. Uh, but is it connected? Uh, but I don't believe in the Hindu gods. I'm just stretching. Uh, but uh, d does that what the Hindu scripture says? Like that's how should we should you do yoga? Come on now, is that what the scripture says? Uh, without believing in the gods, and does the Hindu scripture uh, talks about or mentions about the Hindu gods? If it doesn't, then uh, anyone can say, okay, look, it doesn't say. So why do you you know why why are you accusing that yoga is connected with Hinduism? But if the Hindu scripture, which talks about yoga, like there are different Hindu scriptures, yoga sutras of Patanjali, uh, Shiva Sahita, we have uh, yoga tattva Upanishad. Now, if these scriptures mentions Hindu uh, Hindu gods' names, so it does show one thing that yoga is indeed related uh, with the Hindu gods. It's very much well connected. Yeah. Okay. You didn't want to hear from somebody that is of faith. You hear somebody that is his culture. And he's saying it's connected to Hindu gods and goddesses, baby. And, and he goes on to say in this interview, please go check out Doreen Virtue. She is amazing. She's an ex-witch, okay, an ex-mystic, all of that. She go deep in a lot of different stuff. Her YouTube channel is dope. But not for nothing. It is a religion. It's not just stretching and stuff like that. It's like a form of worship. It is a form of worship. The stretches and things to that nature. Find another way to stretch. Like I said in my my uh, yoga video that I um, did breaking everything down, I was like, you don't have to. <laughs> you 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 can stretch. Why you gotta contort yourself and do all of this and do all of that and sleepy dog and back bend? Why why? What's the point? Just to stretch well. It's all connected. It's all entertaining. But I, look, keep your demons. Okay, like that's that's my sin. I'm just here to give it to you. The word of God says that if you don't receive my peace, I'm going to take it back. Dust my feet. Walk on by. Keep it moving. Walk on by. Walk on by. Keep your demons. Y'all be safe out here.
I'll see you on the next reactional video. Hey, what's up, Whitney D here. Now, if you like that video, make sure that you leave a comment, you like the video, and you share it. Sharing is caring, okay? And I will see you guys on the next video. But until then, make sure you connect with me on all my social medias. Until next time, God bless. Everybody's scared when they in the booth, but I'll take on the persecution for the truth.